Hey students, Mrs. Lytle here to read you two poems. Also want to say sorry if you hear cars drive by. I am sitting on my front porch and I'm not sure if the mic would pick up that audio. So uh, hopefully not. Uh, here to read these two poems, one by Robert Frost and one by E.E. E. Cummings. This first is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. <clears throat> two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet, knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. All right, I do really like that poem. Next one. This is, uh, so I should say, when poems don't have a proper title, uh, we just use the first line of the poem in place of a title. So in a way, this is an untitled poem. Um, but we call it, I Carry Your Heart With Me, I Carry It In My Heart by E.E. E. Cummings. I carry your heart with me, I carry it in my heart. I am never without it, anywhere I go, you go, my dear, and whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful, you are my world, my true. And it's you are whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. All right. Thank you.